John Stoltrager Show. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now, of course, with John Stoltrager, head coach of the swimming programs. And, Coach, you host the first event of three over the weekend at home and get a pretty good result on the women's side, at least, uh, splitting and winning the, the important one. Yeah, we split against um, Dickinson. Uh, we lost Dickinson but beat Lycoming College. We swam really well, um, both guys and girls. Mm -hmm. The girls' side broke a couple school records again. Uh, Melanie broke her own 100 and 200 free records, and Izzy broke her 100 fly record. We also had, you know, a couple girls qualified for the conference meet. Adriana, Elizabeth, both qualified, and so actually did Laurel. All three triplets qualified for the conference meet this weekend. It's keeping theme with the triplets there, you know. <laughs> They seem to follow each other around. You know, you can't get rid of them all. Yeah, if if one makes it, they all have to make yeah. it. So, I mean, it was the same exact thing last year. They, you know, once one made it, you know, then the other two had to make it. And the total on qualifiers jumps from seven to eleven now. You got eleven girls going um, this season already, as versus seven last year. Yeah, not only do we have more kids, but I think we're deeper this year than mm -hmm. last year on the girls' side. Um, the boys' side, we already have three qualifiers, and again, you know, the numbers are low, but, you know, the quality is definitely there. I'm hoping the other two boys qualify before uh, we, we break for December, mm -hmm. um, and again, we could have another one or two girls qualify uh, before we, the break in December. And beating, not only qualifying, but beating, uh, the defeating school records, you know, over the week. Uh, in the in the competition this last weekend yeah you know the nice thing is again it's it's almost um you know it's nice to see improvement from the mm -hmm. kids and it's it's self-validating for them knowing that their hard work that they're putting in every single day at 6 a.m uh, and then again in the afternoon that it's, it's starting to work and while they're still learning i think the process of swimming fast when they're tired they're they're starting to get it and you know we've said it you know show in and show out that we're a young team and mm -hmm. we have four senior girls and no senior boys so you know they're relying on each other to to kind of learn and 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 try to get through being really tired because last week we swam wilkes and you know on the women's side we beat wilkes mm -hmm. but i don't think we swam all that well um, the night before we had an extremely extremely difficult practice and the girls didn't rebound that well from it but the boys on the other hand did they mm -hmm. swam really really well against wilkes winning every single individual event but one but this week you know the girls rebounded and they swam really really well when we swam at mcdonough but the boys swam you know again okay but mm -hmm. not to the level that they did the week before and that's just again part of being a young team Mm -hmm. Just trying to learn, you know, what works for them, what doesn't, you know, how to push, where to push in the practice pool. Exactly. You know, you have to learn, you know, what they can do, you know, and how they do it. And then, you know, you have to mold around that to, to make sure that you're doing everything you can to make sure that they're successful, mm -hmm. you know, without, you know, taking away from the culture you're trying to implement and, you know, the hard work that they have to put in to, to be successful at the end of the year. And, uh, Looking forward to this weekend. You guys travel up to King's College and compete in another all-important conference m meet. Yeah, King's, uh, it should be a great meet. Again, on the, on the guy's side, we're going for individual wins. We're going to see if we can win more events than we lose. Mm -hmm. And on the girl's side, it should be a very competitive meet. They're, they're a pretty good team. Uh, we match up pretty well against them. Um, again, you know, our goal is the end of the year, not so much, you know, the middle of the year, but wins are always nice, but we won't sacrifice what we're doing in the pool. And I would anticipate another hard practice on Friday and then trying to teach them how to swim fast when they're tired on Saturday and, you know, put a game plan together to do exactly that. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in the practice pool this week and your trip up to Kings, and uh, we'll be looking forward to talking to you next week. Great. Thank you very much. He's John Stoltrager. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Stan Stoltrager Show.